نيبا فايروس تصدر العناوين بمختلف وسائل الإعلام حول العالم مؤخراً فيروس مميت وأخطر من كورونا السؤال هو هل يمكن أنه يكون نيبا فيروس هو الجائحة الجديدة اللي بدها تواجهها البشرية؟ الجواب بهالفيديو اللي بعد ما اشترك بالقناة ما تنسوا تعملوا سبسكرايب وتكبسوا الجرس ليصلكم نوتيفيكيشن لما بنزل فيديو جديد كل أسبوع وهيك بتقدروا تتابعوا كل المواضيع الصحية اللي بحكي عنها وهلأ صار فينا نبلش Hello, Dr. Abdel Nasser Abu Bakr. You are the manager of infectious hazard preparedness at the WHO Eastern and Mediterranean region. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me. The Nipah virus has been around since 1998, and we have witnessed many sporadic outbreaks. Today, health reports say that Nipah virus is an emerging infectious disease that causes concern. So are we facing a time bomb that might explode any time? Yes, as you rightly said, Nipah virus is one of the emerging infectious diseases. Uh, that means this is a new virus that came to light only in 1998, as you rightly said, when we had the first outbreak of this virus in Malaysia. And then there was another sporadic outbreaks in a different countries in India, in Bangladesh, Indonesia, Madagascar, some of those countries. But the Nipah virus, as we have seen for the last 22 years, the virus itself has not changed much. Mm -hmm. The virus is a very unique characteristic and also is a threat to the public health. Why I'm saying that? Because this virus is not very common, but the case fatality rate, whenever there is an outbreak, they are the people that infected this disease, majority of them, they die. And the fatality rate is very high. It's mm -hmm. between 45% to 70% of people infected, they die mostly. And this is, uh, this is uh, very scary, actually. It's a very scary, but you know, the virus itself is not highly transmissible. And yeah. remember that also Nipah virus, Nipah virus is a virus that doesn't have a treatment. It doesn't have the vaccine. It doesn't have, you know, any other things to treat. The only thing is the prevention. And that's why we really need to pay attention to this virus. It's not a major global or international threat at this time, because so far it's been very sporadic outbreaks, but everything is possible, but we have to be prepared. Can you give me an idea about the, uh, the symptoms of the Nipah virus? Fever, headache, myalgia, like a muscle pain. They also have a vomiting, they have a sore throat, and then that gradually deteriorates something like, you know, uh, it, it, the virus goes to the brain and they develop encephalitis and people might lose conscience and that's why people die very quickly. Why the media now is, uh, is talking about Nipah virus? Why is it in the spotlight now? Well, <laughs> that's a very good point. I think you, the reason why they're talking is there was an article in a, one of the journalists, newspapers in UK that they have interviewed with one of the experts. And there was a mistakenly said that there was an outbreak in China when actually there was no outbreak in China. And that's why everyone is talking and people, and, and, and the guests they were interviewing probably said that this may be ne next pandemic. And actually there was no outbreak in China. And I think the same newspaper have corrected their information later on saying that, sorry, it was a misquoted, it was misinformation. There is no active outbreak of Nipah virus in China or anywhere in the world. How do you describe the situation now? Is it mildly alarming, moderately, or highly alarming? No, I think it's not alarming at all, because as we speak right now, there is no major outbreak of Nipah virus. There is, we never had a major outbreak or global or international outbreak. Most of the outbreaks are very localized. Localized means within a one country and within one area, within one region, uh, that's how the outbreak started, and it never had a major spread of infection. And remember that this Nipah virus is a zoonosis disease. Zoonosis disease means it is originated from animal. The virus or the infection, it's originally contracted, originate from by animal to human. Mm -hmm. But then it's a possible transmission between human to human, but only for the caregivers of the sick people. We have not seen a major you know, uh, spread of this infection or transmission to human to human, like, like what we've seen right now, COVID, what we have seen for other viruses. 
Nipah virus never had that kind of a major spread of infection. So I wouldn't say it's alarming, but it's a concern because so far we don't have any outbreak of Nipah virus in any, anywhere in the world as we speak. And the outbreak is that we have seen for the last 22 years was very localized, very small outbreaks, which affected only small or one country. When was the last outbreak? I think the last outbreak was 2008, May 2018 in India. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. it has affected, you know, it wasn't that much. It, is, it didn't spread that much. The outbreak was contained very quickly by the government of India. And uh, it has, I think it affected a few hundred people, but it wasn't much, uh, you know, uh, spread to, and since 1998 until today, only 1,000 cases has been documented. Mm -hmm. So this is very small number. Yes. So the 2018 was very small outbreak, localized outbreak, and it was contained very quickly. But we know that viruses, they mutate, and they can surprise us with a new version of themselves. What are the actual measures WHO doing right now in terms of preparedness for this uh, virus in case we have a major mutation? Yes, I agree. Yes, viruses, they normally change and they normally mutate. But remember also the viruses that normally change and mutate are those who spread very quickly. When the virus spreads very quickly from one person to another person to another person, that's when they change. Nipah virus have not shown that level of transmissibility. Mm -hmm. And the, because it doesn't transmit that often or it doesn't spread that often, the risk of mutation is very low. Nevertheless, WHO, as well as other government and public, what they are doing is we are taking proactive steps to investigate all outbreaks and also analyze you know, the, the, the viruses itself if there is any change. So far, there is no change of the, there's no mutation of the Nipah virus because there was no major outbreak. But one of the steps that we are taking is first, we are trying to improve the lab detection, that the lab capacity, we have a very effective test that we can test very quickly and we know if the, if someone is infected uh, Nipah virus or not. You know, health education, we need to educate people because there is no vaccine and there is no drugs or there is no medicine. There's ongoing research WHO is supporting to develop vaccine as well as the drugs in which we are supporting that. And we are very hopeful sooner or later we may have a, a treatment and we may have a vaccine. That's a good news. This is good news. So you are working yeah. on a vaccine already. Yes, I would like to reiterate that there is no active Nipah outbreak as we speak right now in our region. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing to worry into that aspect and people should not panic and should, people should not think that they see another uh, pandemic which is a uh, Nipah virus. That's not the case. And I think there was a misquoted uh, and mispublication and that's why the media have shown but Nipah is a real, you know, uh, emerging infectious disease in which we have to deal with it. Sooner or later. Thank you, Dr. Abdel Nasser Abi Bakr. It was great talking to you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.